Welcome guys, in the last video we discussed about what is modulation and why we need in modulation and the different types of modulation involved. In this video we shall be stressing upon the first type of modulation that is our amplitude modulation. So let's begin with amplitude modulation. So what is amplitude modulation? Amplitude modulation is a type of modulation in which the amplitude of the message signal is directly affecting the amplitude of the carrier signal that is the amplitude of the carrier signal is directly related to the amplitude of the message signal and gets adjusted by it so we'll be making it clear with this type of a diagram see this is our message signal this is our message signal so we consider the message as a closed signal this is our message signal m t the carrier signal which is present out here is a high frequency signal so it's obviously like this this is a carrier signal and when we make a modulated signal the total signal what it becomes is something like this this becomes a dotted line because this does not exist totally then let me redraw this because this would not be totally present then this would be the type of structure available and the carrier signal would totally take the shape of the amplitude of the message signal that is what happens that is the amplitude of the carrier signal is directly changing with the amplitude of the message signal and this whole signal is called the modulated signal this signal is thus send thus the amplitude of the carrier signal is totally affected point by point uh, to the amplitude of the message signal this is the basis and basic of amplitude modulation now let's get into a few details about it amplitude modulation is of three type one is called under modulation second is called perfect modulation and the third is called over modulation now first let us consider one thing which is called our modulation index now what is modulation index modulation index or referred to as small m usually is the voltage of the message signal divided by the voltage of the carrier signal that is the maximum voltage of the message signal divided by the maximum voltage of the carrier signal this is my modulation index thus we can see that depending upon these voltages this modulation index may be less than one may be equal to one and may be greater than one two depending upon vm and vc so the modulation index we understood what modulation index is next let us discuss about under modulation if in a type of signal this m is less than one it is called under modulation let's see what happens in such a wave in such a wave the modulating signal becomes like this and the carrier signal totally drops in like this this is a diagram of under modulation because vm by vc is lesser than one this the minimum voltage of a signal would never touch zero 
this type of generation is called under modulation the next type of generation is called perfect modulation that is when m is perfectly equal to 1 so in this type of a signal what happens is the signal is totally engulfed in the message signal that is this is our perfect modulation this is our perfect modulation and number three that we talk about is called my over modulation where m is greater than one so let's see what over modulation does like here it was not getting completed here it's just completed and if it's over modulated we can imagine a situation where it would be like this it it crosses this boundary and this wave goes on propagating it crosses the boundary level in this direction also it crosses the boundary level and a wave like this is the outer envelope of the wave and obviously the carrier would be inside this wave and this type of modulation is over modulation because m is greater than 1 so here the signal not only just perfectly mo is touching this it even crosses it and there's a small another small fragment of the signal is sent out here so this type of signal is my over modulation obviously we can say that the best type of modulation that a signal can be done is my perfect modulation because my sig because my message signal is perfectly engulfed in this type of a signal now let us consider how a amplitude modulation is performed and amplitude modulation is one in which the amplitude of the message signal is varied according to is 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 actually making the amplitude of the carrier signal change itself now let us consider how an amplitude modulation can be done see a voltage source is there which is doing this thing vc that is my maximum voltage of vc plus small vm so the signal becomes vc plus vm into my sine omega ct or my oh sorry my sine omega mt because this is vm or my cos omega mt let us consider our cos omega mt vc plus vm cos omega mt now when we are modulating this signal we will be multiplying this v by a term cos omega ct where omega c is my carrier frequency thus my total wave becomes vc plus vm cos omega mt into cos omega ct thus it becomes vc cos omega ct plus vm into cos omega mt cos omega ct now using the relation cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b by 2 plus cos a minus b by 2 we can further modify this relation as cos omega ct plus vm by 2 plus vm by 2 into cos omega c plus omega m plus vm by 2 into cos omega c minus omega m and my vm we can write it as my mvc and thus we can write it as vc into cos omega ct plus mvc by 2 into cos omega c plus omega m plus mvc by 2 into cos omega c minus omega m so this is the final expression that we get for an amplitude modulated signal in this amplitude modulated signal we can find this part is the signal where it's pure carrier so this is called my unmodulated carrier
this is called this has a frequency of omega c plus omega m that means if in the frequency domain we consider something like this in the frequency domain if this is zero if this is omega c then omega c plus omega m would be somewhere here and omega c minus omega m would be somewhere here and this type of a curve in the frequency domain we would get if this is my omega c this part omega c plus omega m part is upper to omega c and is thus called my upper side band similarly this omega c minus omega m is lower to omega c and is thus called lower side band so these are the three bands that we get the unmodulated carrier the upper side band and my lower side band so in this video we learned about the different types of modulation the different types of amplitude modulation to be precise and the equation of am and how we are getting this am wave in my next video we'll be talking about the different types of am modulation itself that is dsbsc ssbsc and am itself we'll be talking about that and we'll be stressing on the processes on how to generate mod how to generate such signals and demodulation also thank you guys